Now what we want to look at is we want to look at your low cut and your high pass filters. Uh, now what are these? Okay, first of all, your low cut is any time that you're dealing with someone, uh, if you've ever run sound before, you've had an individual where when they would say certain words, their P's would pop. You'd hear P -p 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 coming through the, the system. Your low cut is going to help you control that. Your high pass filter is going to help you control uh, feedback in a range in an area where the microphone is not even being used. So let's jump over to the X32 here and take a look. We're going to start with the low cut because it's the easiest one to get to. And you're going to want to set this on it. Make sure this is set on every single microphone that you use. So to get there, if you look up here in the upper left hand quadrant, right here you have next to your gain, you have your uh, low cut uh, feature. So first thing you're going to want to do is turn that on and then you're going to want to hit the view button here and what that does is that takes you over here on the screen you'll notice that it takes you into your EQ some of your EQ settings but it takes you directly to your low cut right here that is is highlighted in yellow now right now the low cut is set to about uh, 44 uh, Hertz on the low end of the EQ spectrum what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to increase that a little bit. So we do that by turning our knob and then if you'll watch your um, graph here, you'll see that as it moves across, it's going to grow. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring that up to about 100. Okay, so we're going to set that. In this case, it, it falls at 101 hertz. Now, why do we set it at 101 hertz? The reason we set it at 101 hertz is because that's where our cutoff point is for our sub between our subs and our main speakers. We're telling our main speakers to handle anything from the higher end hertz all the way down to 102, 100, well actually 101 because anything then that is lower from 101 down uh, we're assigning to the sub. So that's our low end frequencies that we're setting in there. So we don't want our vocals coming in through the, or coming out through the subs. We want it coming out through the mains. And so for that reason, uh, we are going to set this at 100. Now, you may find it necessary to control some of the popping from the speaker uh, that is speaking. You may need to, uh, to find it necessary to increase that up to about 120. That's okay if you need to go on up to 120 to catch some of those um, pops in the lower ends of when they say P and other things, then by all means go ahead and raise that to uh, on up if necessary. Again, that's going to uh, be determined by the speaker and their voice, but 100 is a good starting place. So that's how you set your low cut. Now once you're done uh, with the, the low cut, what you can do is come out of your view here on the board, uh, come out of that, come back to your main screen, and then what you're going to want to do for your high pass filter is again with the channel selected uh, you come here to your equalizer section that is within the uh, center of the top of the board here. Turn your EQ on. Make sure it is turned on for that channel and then select your high button. And if you will know and then from there once you've got your high selected come down and hit view and that changes your screen to the full uh, parametric EQ that we have in the board. Now if you notice we've already got our low cut set. You see that here uh, in the graph that it is turned on. So what we're going to want to do with the, the quickest, easiest way, now you can do all this uh, over here on the screen using uh, the controls here, but the quickest, easiest way to enable your high cut uh, or your high pass filter is by using the mode button right here. You will also notice that we have here, you have several different indicators of the form that, that your sound is going to take. So if you press the mode button, you notice that my light here changed just to a high cut only, okay? And then also the other way I know is because now we can look over here at the graph on, on my screen and I see that the high cut has been enabled. Now what's a good reference point for the high cut? Uh, again, on there, this is going to depend on the room. 
Uh, this is going to be depend on how reflective the room is. Um, but what I would do is using the knob here, our frequency, right now it's sitting at 10K, um, which is, is not the max. It's almost all the way over to the far end of the graph. The far end of the graph is 20K. But what I can do is I can grab that and move that on back over uh, to about 8K, or if I need to, I can even bring it as far as 4K. Okay. Again, this is going to depend on the speaker. Now, when you have the uh, someone on the microphone speaking, you will see on your um, graph chart there, you will actually see the different uh, frequencies of that speaker's voice as they're speaking. And what you can do is bring your, low, your high cut in to where it just starts overlapping the speaker's um, frequency, okay? That'll help. What that does is that takes the high frequency and cuts it on that microphone. Why do we want to cut that microphone? Well, if the speaker's voice is not falling in that end of the spectrum, spectrum for instance, my voice, it's a lower voice. So therefore, I'm not going to have a whole lot of high uh, frequencies being uh, produced from my mouth. So therefore, I don't want those frequencies open. I want to close them down so that it helps control my feedback as much as possible. So th both of those you can kind of play with. Uh, this is just a good starting point. Uh, set this prior to the speakers uh, coming in for the sound check. And then from there, you can tweak your, your low cut and your high cat cut or high pass filter uh, to fit each individual speaker. And again, you're going to want to do this to help control the feedback in the room.